My style of dancing is very fluid and with a lot of accents. I like to dance wide and really big, and I really love to be able to articulate sounds and music that I hear in the song, and I really hope that that shows through. There's not any other feeling in life than when you're performing on stage, dancing through the emotions that you really can't ever explain in words. I am prepared to do anything and everything to win the show. I am not afraid to look a fool on stage. I am not afraid to look a fool on camera. I will show my emotions. I will give my heart and soul for the show. And hopefully America will respond to that. <laughs> so You Think You Can Dance is a very rare and beautiful television show just because as dancers, we're, we're always in the background. But for this, it's really about the dancers themselves and their passion and their struggles. You don't ever see that in the dance world. And it's a, it is an amazing, amazing experience here. Um, my style of dance is contemporary, and I, I didn't really choose that style all on my own. It's just what comes naturally to me. For me, being in top 20, um, it is a humongous personal accomplishment. Um, it means that I have really overcome all of my obstacles and that I've, I've made it. Um, I feel like my strength as a dancer is fluidity and really being able to um, manipulate the music rather than letting it manipulate me. Green Mile was definitely my most memorable moment because when you're watching at home, you don't really think about it being as long as it really is. And when it's on TV, they add all of the dramatic music, but it's silent in there. You're just kind of walking, hearing your own footsteps, and the judges are just staring at you as you have this like long corridor to walk down. It's the most <laughs> nerve-wracking experience you'll ever have. Three most important things for me in preparing for a routine is um, understanding the choreographer. That's not only knowing what they're meaning by their choreography, but understanding where they're coming from, like um, emotion-wise, and really feeling their energy when you're learning from them. The next one is memorization really going over your dance, really knowing every, every small movement, every articulation of the hand or the foot or the toe or the ear, really being able to understand what you're supposed to be doing. And then the last one is being able to become a part of the dance and knowing that you're living in what you do rather than just performing steps for an audience. My nickname's Tux. Uh, I, for some reason, people just started saying my name with lots of S's afterwards, and so now I just sign emails T-U-X most of the time, just because it's easier and a lot of people know me like that. <laughs>